Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be making a bag in the groceries hit classic. It's really easy actually. I'll show you. We've got a couple of instruments here. Got one down here. These make good sounds when you blow into them. Here, let's see if we can get like a, a POV kind of situation here. As you can see, it's a very uh, clear, it's a good sound. So the first thing you want to do is you want to you wanna get a sick beat. Now, the, the, the best way to do this is just find find something that sounds kind of kind of like, kind of like, you just got to get a feel for it, you know, so that sounds good, right, right? But maybe one of, what sounds good with that? Here, here, yeah, 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 okay, here we go. All right, and then all you got to do, you want one of those? No, no, no. You hear that? I don't think I need to say why that's not right. Let's let's get a little higher, if you know what I mean. Get one of these. All right, all right, all right. Here now, let's let's try a. Hmm. 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 All right, and now we got ourselves a sick beat in progress. Maybe a little slow. Let's uh, let's pick up pick up the pace a little bit. There we go. There you go. That's good. That's good. All right. Now you you gotta mix it up. Let's let's uh let's get some kind of some kind of little sounds going on in between here. All you gotta do right here. And now this is a big choice, as it is. We could leave the opening here, or not. Now, here's a little bag in the groceries trick for you. What you want to do, you take what you already have, and you just do it again. Now there you go, now we got two of them. We're going to get rid of that there, and now on here we're going to put this up here, and the other one next to it, and now let's here. And that's a sick beat, if if you ask me. <laughs> and I know a thing or two about sick beats. <laughs> okay, all right. So now I'm gonna have to level with you guys. My partner isn't around anymore. We need to stop this. My partner's gone. He's been gone a couple days. I was never one to play hide and go seek, so. For his part, I just pulled up a nice picture of him, and you know what, I'm not feeling this one so much. Let's, uh, let's go through a few. Now, that's not a bad one. I like that. I like that. Alright, so now his job, usually, before I make the song, is he's just gonna hit the keyboard a couple times, four times to be, to be exact, and he's gonna, he's gonna come up with four little chords. That's all you need, really, for a song. Four chords. And they don't even gotta be real chords or nice chords or nothing. Now that's not a nice chord. Ooh, ooh. Alright, alright, let's get that. Now that's nice. So now what goes good? Oh. Now you hear that, that's nice. Alright, so now, what do we want to happen next? We gotta get a second chord now, that's right. So all you gotta do is go up one. And that's all. That's all you need, really. Alright, number three. Now number three is difficult. You got a couple choices here. You could go up, or you could go down a couple. Now that's a little too low. No, no. Now that's what I'm feeling. Now 
number four you can get a little crazy because number four is the time you want to mix things up you see we got a nice upwards motion and they're all the same shape we were just moving upwards simple as that now let's get a little wacky old bag is getting himself a nice little idea now how would it be let's say just per se having three nice full chords and the climax a single note well let's see what happens I'm feeling it. How about you, kids? Now that's nice. So now, let's mix it all up. See how it sounds with the old drum beat. Make sure you, you, you take these and you do them all the way, you know. Now here's a little white wisdom from the old bag. Let's get rid of this one here and make it full all the way through so that at the end, when we got a little moment of silence after that final note, see at the end of this, it gives a nice little rest to the listener. Now we don't want them to get over, over worried or overjoyed or nothing. So we've got ourselves some nice chords, a nice little beat. Now all you need is the melody. And you see, melody is easy. It's as simple as letting me do it, because I'm just going to do it, and I'm not going to explain, because it's real easy for me. Did you feel that, kids? Ooh! You see, that's nice. It's got a little, good, a little bit of tension in it. Let me show you something. You see, we got ourselves a nice little melody in progress here. But it ain't so nice now, is it? See, what you gotta do is know how it'll sound when it would sound better than it sounds right now, and then just make it sound like that, and it'll sound better. Now, one thing you don't want to do, kids, is sit and listen to the same thing for 20 minutes straight. But I got it now. I gotta hear it one more time though. See, this is a classic bag in the groceries trick. All you gotta do, and my partner over here, he loves to say this all the time. He always says to me, Bag, you're so great, but how could you forget? You gotta do it twice. So what you do is you take all these, you go down here and you wanna copy them. Oh, shh. You gotta copy them. And now, you go over here, and you just do it, just as he said, you do it twice. Already sounded a lot better, isn't it? But now that's not all. You want to mix it up just a little. So maybe let's move this one down, just one. And if we move this one up, just one, it's going to have a different little payoff at the end. See, you got to fiddle with it. That's a nice little payoff. And you know what? It 
it sound a little bit Christmassy if you ask me. So I'm getting a pretty good feeling about this one now. But, I don't know, it just, it sounds empty to me. You see, it needs a little something in the background to hold it all together. So let's go on down here and let's pick out one of these high quality instruments. Now these sound very realistic if you listen to them. Let me show you, this is the string section. It sounds just like they're in the room. A little ominous tone. Now, this is the time when we ask ourselves, Now, Bag, what are we doing with our lives? So I think I'll use a higher pitch background sound. All you gotta do, and this is easy, you just look at where there's already notes, and you put longer notes where those ones are. Simple as that. No thought required, no talent or nothing. And there you go. This one's, he's got a little bit of room at the end. Now that's okay. We can just make him a little longer. And it wouldn't be a bag in the grocery song if you didn't do it twice. And let's just make sure things are matching up down here. Right here. Let's move this little boy up here. Move this little guy around here. We can little, little move him up on here. There. What have I done? So let's just throw this little boy on up here. Mm. But it doesn't have a bite, you know? Let's let's go with something a little less wish-washy, like a solo. That's got a little more kick to it. Now that sounds nice if you ask me. Mm. If only I had a real string instrument somewhere that I could... Now this is the power you give the song some real personality. We're gonna add some lyrics. Now first of all, you gotta find out how you're gonna sing the words before you know what they are. Cause how you gonna know if they're gonna fit or not. So what I like to do, I just like to leave the song playing and let things just come out of me that are inside and see how they sound and how they make me feel. And a little tip for beginners. You can, you can easily come up with a vocal melody by just singing along with any other part in the song, even the chords. My life is Bad. Something like that. Now that was just improvised, so you don't gotta... <laughs> I'm just gonna get, get going here and you'll be able to see it all unfold right before your eyes. It's gonna be real nice, kids. You're gonna like it. You're really gonna like it. I can't do this. I am not happy Somebody kill me Now, that's almost alright, but it's a little sad. And this is a happy song, so let's try to make the lyrics a little happier. So you gotta search deeper inside yourself, past all the bad things that are right there out in the open, and see if you can find any joy inside yourself.
I'm just gonna make it a Christmas song. Now who doesn't like getting gifts? How about this? Who brings gifts for me? I am not happy. Who brings gifts for me? And my family. See, there it is. Let's write it down. Who brings gifts for me? Enter. And my family. You see, these are good lyrics because of the rhyme. So now we've got one line. We just have to make a whole bunch more until the song is long enough to be presentable. And they just gotta sound the same. It don't matter. It ain't even a thing. It don't doesn't matter. Gifts for me and my family. I want four, not three. Underneath the tree. Just like that. That's easy. Now this is simple. All you gotta do. As my old partner once said, do it twice. And now, we can make ourselves a nice little musical breakdown. What do you kids think? What do you think? So let's, let's see, what'll this sound like? Considering the transition into this section, if we remove the drum beat, let's find out. It's going to be real nice, kids. Who brings gifts for me and my family? I want four, not three, underneath the tree. So as you can see, I'm not a good singer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sing it twice. Just do it twice. That's all you got to do. And that'll hide all the badness. See now, we're almost there. We've got lyrics fully recorded, copied and pasted, so I don't have to sing it more than twice. And it's all arranged perfectly. We just need an outro and maybe to add some effects. Let's see how it sounds. Ain't that something special? Now usually it's about this time when my partner over here would be saying, But Bag, you're so smart and wonderful, don't you know we should scrap it? And you know what? He's wrong every time. Because the key is not in scrapping it, it's in doing this. You just want to hit play and play with it a little bit. Maybe change the pitch. Oh. Oh, maybe s let's let's slow things down actually and then you go over here on the master thing and you go over there and all you gotta do is add some nice pretty little effects to make the song a little more smart sounding if you know what I mean Get one of these, a little bit of reverb. Ooh, that's a nice sound, ain't it? That 
that looks good. That's what we're looking for. Let's get rid of, let's maybe shrink it down a little bit. And just let things loose, you know? Loosen it up. And there you go. That's how you make an ambient droning Christmas song. Like Bag in the Groceries does it. Thank you for watching.